I'll take a look at two New Mexico police officers who did not take the time to educate themselves and they were still ignorant of the law. They still did not know that they had no right to ID a citizen if that citizen had not committed a crime. But the beauty is we actually get a chance to hear the judge dismiss the charges and we get a quick peek at the lawsuit that was filed. This citizen stood on his rights and when his rights were violated, he took the cops into court, beat them in court, and then filed the lawsuit. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check out this video. Can I get your name and badge number? Did you make Sanchez. Sanchez? Uh -huh. Sorry, your, your badge number or ID number? Uh, unit 725. I know. Thank you. What's it? What can I help you with that? Okay. I don't need no help. I'm just doing a story and I've been on public easement the whole time. Never crossed onto their property. Okay. So. Well, can I see your ID? No, ma'am. I need your ID. I'm not going to book I, the law. It don't matter. I need to you can put a good citizen okay, on. I'm not gonna put well, you're not going to put my name because I'm not giving it to you. I have to have broken the law before I have to turn over all that information. Okay. If you articulate, okay, I was called. that's fine. Right. You can be called. You can investigate. But I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to surrender my rights just because you showed up. I have to. You you're asking for my ID. Right. That would be yeah. surrendering my fourth. Well, you you identified me, so I'd like. Well, to you're a public servant. Exactly. That's the difference. I'm not. I'm a free right. citizen. So what is it that you're doing out here exactly? What does it look like? I'm filming. That's it. I promise. There's except, thousands of cameras except, everywhere. Except Navajo, You don't have a body camera? Navajo specifically. Navajo. Up. I am not working for Navajo. I'm not in their property. That is the only time that their rules all apply. Over, all over their property. It don't matter. It what is, what, what is, they don't yes, on their property. Yeah, there's no penal code at the bottom of the do not allow uh, camera record signs. Meaning it's not a law. It is their policy. Their policies don't apply to me. Only if I'm on their property, then I become subject to their laws and their policies. While I'm on public property, I'm a free citizen. I can record anything that my eyes can see. Can't trespass my eyes. So you have to articulate a crime that I've either committed, yes, I'm committed, or I'm about to commit. Yes, you don't want to bet? Yes, sir. All right, well, you better call your supervisor if you do something stupid. Okay. Call your supervisor. Here. I don't matter. Call. You can call, you can, you can come, you and you can come investigate. We, you are the suspect that yeah. you're here to deal with, therefore you are required S to... No, I'm not. Suspicion isn't a crime. You got that badge and that gun, but you don't even know. How are you going to enforce something when you don't even know? I'm ID. not giving you my ID. All right. Turn around, put your place All right. back. Here we go, guys. Put this here. Then there was the matter of trespassing and this question about disorderly conduct. I don't think there's any sort of information that could... I mean, the fact that other people are upset by what he's doing does not mean that he's engaging in disorderly conduct. So I, I don't think that one would apply either. So I think it all hinges on whether there was a reasonable suspicion that he was trespassing. Um, the court is going to find that um, the officers did not have a reasonable suspicion that he had committed trespass, that there was maybe this sort of um, vague concern suspicion but when you get down to are there specific articulable facts that would support that reasonable suspicion I don't believe they were there I believe this defendant was arrested because number one he was videoing and the people at Navajo were very concerned about this and you know not that they don't have a, a valid concern about videoing but their policy about photography and video is not um, a law in addition to that I think he was arrested because he was kind of obnoxious um, that again is not, you know, not a crime. So, and um, the court will find that that was not met. Therefore, the defendant is not guilty. All right, guys. So we won. I was found not guilty. And here's the lawsuit that was filed. I'm not.